Why is it illegal to eat beef in India? Because the spiritual leaders of that nation influences the lawmakers of that nation. Why do we have blasphemy laws in Pakistan? Because the spiritual leaders of that nation influence the lawmakers of that nation. Why do we have so many corrupt laws in the West? Because the spiritual leaders in the West influence the lawmakers of the West. Why is it the West has lost its moral compass? Because the church in the West has lost her moral compass. Why do we have so many laws against God's law in the West? Because we have so many churches against God's law in the West. Jesus said to the church, you are the light of the world. But it's getting darker. Whose fault is it? Jesus said to the church, you are the salt of the earth. What did he mean by that? Back in those days, the primary purpose of salt was to preserve food from going bad. They didn't have refrigerators and freezers like we have today, so they used salt. Salt was the primary preservative. It preserved food from going corrupt. When Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, what did he mean by that? He meant your job is to preserve the ancient morals, to preserve society from going corrupt. And Jesus warned people with a very serious warning. He said, if you lose your saltiness, you'll be good for nothing but to be thrown out and to be trampled underfoot. And that is what the church has become. The church has lost her saltiness. She has become good for nothing. And thus, society corrupts and continues to corrupt. The Church of the West used to be salty, but over the years, it has exchanged its salt for sugar. When you go to church anymore, you don't hear real salty messages. No, you hear sweet little sermons. I am calling on the church to repent of her saltlessness. I am calling on the church to repent of her lawlessness. I am calling on the church to repent of her antinomianism. I'm calling on the church to humble herself, get desperate for God, pray, seek God, and turn from your wicked ways. Do it now while you can, because judgment begins in the house of God.